Hi, I'm Sean Yang, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So if I was given this polynomial, 4 plus 2n to the third, parentheses, plus 5n to the third, plus 2. Okay? Well, since it's all addition, and in each parenthesis, we don't. Um, have anything that we can simplify within the parentheses, at that point we can eliminate our parentheses. So we have 4 plus 2 and to the third plus 5 and to the third plus 2. Now I'm going to rearrange and put in my like terms first. Okay? Our like terms uh, together and my highest degree terms first. So we have the 2 and to the third plus 5 and to the third plus then 4 plus 2. Okay? I have all four terms together. I just rearranged using the commutative property and brought them all. You know, all my n to the third is to the left and on the right-hand side of my, my numbers, my constants. Okay? So now let's add our like terms. 2n to the third plus 5n to the third comes out to be 7n to the third. And 4 plus 2 is 6. And there we have it. We have our final answer. Simplified here, 7n to the third plus 6. So let's recap. We're given parentheses 4 plus 2n to the third, and parentheses plus parentheses 5n to the third plus 2, and parentheses. Since they're all addition and inside each parentheses, there's no simplification that we can do, I can just eliminate my parentheses now. So I just rewrite everything with parentheses. Then I rearrange my like terms together and put in my highest degrees first. So I have 2n to the third first, that one right there, 5n to the third right there, then the four, then the two. All four terms got transferred down. Make sure you don't forget that. Don't leave anyone behind. So now we have, uh, we combined our like terms, 2n to the third plus 5n to the third gave me 7n to the third, and four plus two gave me six. So now I have my final answer here, uh, simplified is 7 and to the third plus 6.